Hey, good day everybody, uh, people all around the world. How are you today on this December 31st? Welcome to the Agile Lounge once again. So uh, it's Alexandre Frédéric Jolie, the uh, founder and the chief product officer of this great brand to bring on agility and conscious agility within the business agility. So I titled this great video today on this Tuesday, the last day of a year, of a year after who, after what, after exactly so on so for those who love history for those who are believers or religious so of course you have your answer so i won't answer it because all the answers of why are we are going to enter in about uh, six seven hours into um, 2020 so i'd like to concentrate more on the onward of the business and especially here on agile lounge we promote business agility the real agility and uh what I would like uh, to do, instead of doing a review like everybody will do, retrospective and review, uh, and I thought so, no, let's do an on review, which is I won't talk about my achievement of myself, my team, some of my clients, and so on, like I did last year, uh, top 13 of a great moment that happened in 2013, and also some kind of grief that happened in 2018. So, no, no, no. This year I said, like, let's be in the sense of the anti cafe, anti new year, on celebration, on conference. So be it. On a review. So, we won't do a review because the product itself, after its third years, it's kind of going well. It's it's just now we are a registered trademark. That was a key moment of this 2019 jobs. And on top of everything, also, my fiscal year starts on September the 1st. So I think I should do a review of my year prior around August 31st, don't you think? I know my accountant, she find it very, very difficult to celebrate a new year with my end of years in September and October. And now the fact that right now, for this Christmas and holiday period, we are at the fifth month. We're going to entering the fifth month of my fiscal year. So, so, but the thing, there's a hype. There's a big hype. Everybody is following the thing. It's like everybody is Christian all of a sudden. Uh, everybody is celebrating New Year. So we saw that since 12 noon here on the East Coast, we saw uh, fireworks in Shanghai and some places in Japan. So I understand there's Christian everywhere, but uh, we don't see that much when it's uh, Roshana, the New Year's of our cousin Jew. Uh, uh, now, if there's any Muslim that follow me, please educate me. I don't know exactly when is your um, celebration for the new year uh, from Mohammed. So please uh, share with us. Uh, we, we're going to know now also in what year are you and so on. So And all these other calendars for, from the uh, Aboriginal people. Should I say Aboriginal? Anyway, I don't want to be politically correct. I just want to speak my mind towards my education. But you understand, like many people on this earth have other calendar and uh, let's say we are we are a micro society here at AFG solution uh, holding of company including the brand agile lounge uh, so we are only year four fifth month of the year four for agile lounge and year 22 uh, month fifth of uh, the uh, holding of my company that I uh, manage. So so the thing is I'd like I'd like to do something different uh, to talk to you about the on word and for me uh, the on word come with the intention that I want to bring to that cycle. And uh, for us who do Scrum and Agile, we pretty much know what our cycles. So you could start whenever you want and you finish it to inspect and adapt whenever you want. So here's the thing. Uh, I always do a vision board that has been done, of course, in September. And from that vision board, that have my intention. So yes, let's step back a little bit. My intention before having my vision for what's coming onward and moving forward into 2020. And I'm going to also explain the power and the magic of 2020 uh, and this new decade that's uh, going to shine starting 2021, of course, because for all of those of you who are scientific enough, you understand that the... We have to accomplish one year to say that we are on the third decade. So we won't be. 2020, it's kind of this why. This is why. And I'll explain the why of the why later. But first off, my intention that I want to bring into the world for this 2020 kind of why year, it's all about my involvement on speaking a dissident voice, but a constructive way to the global community of people who believe in lean management and agile 
And how do we do this equation to bring the real agility? And even though with conscious leadership and business agility, we could make emerge the conscious agility. And for me, conscious agility, it's being conscious enough on all aspects of consciousness. Okay. There's a bit spiritual there. You say, oh, hold on. It's still kind of business. It's still pragmatic. But here's the thing. With conscious agility, my intention, I believe it's we if we built it together and with, of course, the better listening of our client to gain something authentic from what they want, we're going to develop something within the teaching of business agility and conscious leadership, something that could actually help any organization, team leader, or performer, or someone who do, something that bring them smarter first and then better. Because if you're smart enough and if you're able to get enough data, enough knowledge, now you're going to become better at what you do. So it's all about becoming every one of us. And this is what I'd like to t teach and bring into the world. Teaching a way of being a disruptor of this VUCA who is actually a disruptor. So for those of you who follow right now who still don't know what VUCA is, check in the description below. It's about volatility, uncertainty, complexity. And uh, I always miss the, hey, there's so many uh, versions of it. So that, exactly, tell me in the comment below. Maybe I missed the A, because for me, I concentrate again on the onward aspect of it, where I translate VUCA to make you a disruptor with intention, quality of presence, and moving onward into the smarter way of designing what you really want, what brings you value into your business within your team to work better and to offer a better experience for both your employees and of course the customer that come into your shop online physically what have you so uh, this is the thing and uh, i don't think if we follow all that movement this intention for me i've been called purist because i want to use it i've been called purist because i don't want to sell a one size fit out i don't want to sell agile either. I just want to bring consulting, coaching, workshop in a pragmatic and empirical way to help you guys out there develop something. And yeah, maybe why not? You will develop some new systems or you would like to learn some existing systems and try to apply it in adaptation with your business context, with your technological context. So if Whoever you are out there, either a subscriber of the Agile Lounge, either one of my ex-client, a future client maybe, or a recruiter or what have you, if you want to contact us at the Agile Lounge or to contact me as a consultant or even my other consultant that will rise up again, have this in mind. This is our intention for this new year to bring Agile Lounge the way we offer this innovative and exclusive way of doing the coaching, the facilitation, facilitation. Yes, this is important. If you are a recruiter out there, ask about that question. There is four, uh, the X-Wing diagram, training. And for us at Agile Lounge, training is more practical workshop with your real stuff. So while you are in training, you actually work on things, whether it's design, or process construction or process design, whatever, building your backlog, your value list. So you're out of our training with an artifact or an outcome that bring value within your organization and your team. So this is the first one of the X-Wing diagram for the strength of any coaches or soi-disant coaches, agile coach out there. And then you have the mentoring where it's more like a one-on-one -on -one, or it could be the creation because mentoring for real, if it's collective, it will be about how do we as a coach or as a consultant bring you 
to build a community of practice within your organization or your community where you could exchange actually with and we don't say an agile if you hear an agile person saying about level of senior and junior that's a, that's an anti pattern we're going to say someone with more experience okay someone who have seen maybe more example that will be able to mentor you within that community of practice and of course you have the mentoring of those sage like i used to have one uh, before he passed away um, that are in the field for several years and they learn from us to the junior you see i'm tricking you and but the thing is it's an exchange it's a conversation and for me Training and mentoring, it's all about having a great conversation, having a dialogue, a true dialogue, an exchange, to be challenged, to challenge, to learn with practical and pragmatism, to start doing the subsention. A subsension is the dynamic of interrelation between all things and all people, especially. So it's one of the principles of the Agile Manifesto, remember? So... Uh, you know, and uh, I see even a value, uh, people interaction over process and tools. So here's the thing. So this is why on my videos, of course, I put a couple of things like from YouTube, like thumbs up and uh, subscribe here. And maybe in this video, I will put like when I explain the vision board, I will say, OK, you could look at it. But but I don't do too much fla fla with these process and tools from either YouTube or uh, Vimeo or, or stuff like that, because the important thing is my interaction I have with you right now. It's pretty much virtual. But if you come to our stuff, you're going to see we're going to interact a lot more. Uh, consciously and intentionally. So here's the thing. So this is the intention. Then after from that intention, I said, okay, how do I put it into practice within a vision board? Because the true business agility, it's making everything visual. It's probably, it's also from lean management as well. But I don't want to go into debate of the father and the mother of agility, blah, blah, blah. Okay. So let's take to the onward of 2020 and what Agile Lounge. So Agile Lounge, we, we're very nice together in November and we made a vision board. So now it's the time that probably in this video, you see uh, an example of our vision board with circles. Every circle, it's one of the key elements. So for example, we have the podcast and actually the podcast is gonna start at the end of this month of January. Uh, we already have 13 subjects ready, uh, three people who are interested in becoming our guests or the actually, I should say the interactive person that we're going to have this conversation and the name of the podcast actually state the intention that Agile Lounge and myself have in mind we'd like to dare and inviting you to dare to do real agile why do we specify real agile? Is it because we think there's fake agile? I'm not the first one to state it or to recognize it. But unfortunately, and especially in our French Canadian market of Montreal and Quebec, we see a lot of deep fake or what I used to call consultant con artists that after two, three videos on YouTube, even watching mine, they improvise themselves after paying $2,000, $3,000 for a certification program without any strengthening, no practice, no things, and boom, they are an agile coach and uh, they're just making money and uh, they just teaching without intention, without value driven, without nothing. They just make things happen to people who don't know when they don't know better and it's always a one size fit all and so on. So I don't care of my competition here in Montreal, even in the United States. I just care about what my team that's growing and myself with the Agile Lounge, we are going to do in 2020. And the magic of 2023, the driving force is exactly this. Let's dare, let's dare not to absolutely want to say yes, sir, yes, ma'am, or to have a kind of a consensus. There's no consensus. This is empirism. We'd like to bring back this empirism, this scientific balance and the sports way of pragmatism into coaching agility. All right? 
So it's enough of the fluff. Fla. I meet so many clients in the last two years. They told me <laughs> in the first cafe we have either the free hours of consultation or either the, you know, the, the first discovery of what can I do to help you and your organization or with your team. And a lot of them said, oh, please, don't bring Lego, don't bring games, don't bring actually a framework to explain or so on. And I said, like, of course not. You don't need to tell me that. I know that by experience. After 20 years of experience in the field of doing Scrum and Agile and Lean Management, I know for a fact that the user experience and the client experience is the first thing that should drive the show. Not anything else. The customer and the user experience will drive the show. And this is why I think a lot of people will say, oh, business agility is so new. It's not even F new. Since the developer of Scrum, Mr. Jeff Shutterland, Ken Schraber, and of course Mike Beadle, uses Scrum as a tool, this tooling process system, to better the work of the user and the developer that created the great outcome of a better product and a better experience of these solution and product. Especially, of course, in software industry, but now it's booming up. It's booming up. And, and Mike saw it, especially with Substantion, huh? the dynamic of interrelation. So it's one thing to say in the manifesto in 2001, oh, let's bring the, the customer integration, collaboration, and yeah, yeah, let's hear from the customer directly what, what he wants us to build. But we realized that, especially in large scale enterprise, this is why you found like Enterprise Scrum, you see, the That was in 2000, guys. That was the essence of business agility because the true evolution is not for the software developers. It's not for, for the programmer, by the programmer, by the programmer. Yes, of course. I used to teach it for years. I still believe in it because for me, but it's not just about the programmer, guys. Stop it, okay? Developer out there, you are part of a team. You have to work even within IT. Uh, and software development, you have to work within a team. And even though a team in business agility will include the marketing department, the sales department, the accounting, the so-called human resources, I despise this word. We should call it talent and culture department or talent people that will bring actually talent into specific focus scrum team and, and so on. But it's all about the substantion, the dynamic of interrelation. It's so simple. We don't have to put a word on this, but other people, they decide, especially around Mike Beadle, to call it business agility because we wanted to have the business really like, it's the reinforcement of one of the 12 principles. Huh? Don't remember if it was Alistair Carbon, but anyway, stop name tagging. The thing is, one of this principle, for those who know, it's bringing IT and business people together to a common goal. But that's the thing, it should be natural. So we are here to facilitate you. So that's the thing, training, mentoring, facilitation. Yeah? A lot of coaches are struggling into this facilitation. At Agile Lounge is one of our specialty. Whether it's for an emergency, whether it's for counseling, or you need a third party to actually help you out, we're there for you. We're there to facilitate it. And even though after the training and establishing of a mentoring type of process, uh, coach the coach, a train the trainer, then the facilitation should be something that you should expect from your coach. And the coaching properly, it's all about the science of coaching. And agile next to coach is just a qualificative because agile becomes an adjective in that sense. Huh? You'd like to take that kind of wall of agility and then you specialize in it so you're a coach of this. And at Agile Lounge, myself and all the other coaches growing are people from the trench and from the field. Whether they were designer, business marketer, business owner, programmer, what have you, they've been working into agility and they love it so much that they could actually coach for real about this. Uh, they are they are the real agile. So this is why the intention again it's to inviting you to their agility, the true agility, 
the real one, not the deep fake stuff, not the things you buy, because agile is not a thing you sell. It's a thing you are imprinting yourself of. It's a culture mindset that will help you making decisions for the smartest way of designing and the better way of producing better experience and changing VUCA into VUCA Plus. And the VUCA Plus or the VUCA Pro, it's V for vision, U for understanding, C for, it could be for a lot of things, but me, what I like the most, it's communication, okay? Or even clarity, or it could be creativity. So they see, it's, it's make it to your, to your gravy, to your sauce. And A, the through adaptation. And by that, I'm not meaning like, oh, yeah, we signed the Agile Agnostic Oaths. Oh, yeah, that was a big thing of 2018 and even this year. But now, even me, I signed it because I am agnostic in a sense that I listen first to you guys out there. And then together in the conversation, I'm going to propose you a couple of things for you to try empirically. Do we need to sign off an agile agnostic type of thing with all of those 12 principles to add on another touch? It's, it's, it's really funny. It's really great. I don't mind the creativity behind this and, and the, 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 the whatever we could do and togetherness. But at the end of the day, what is practical? Either you are or you're not. And, and by the way, that's the thing. Either you are agile or you're not. And you cannot enforce it to team. The team have to choose it. Huh? Self-managed doesn't mean chaos and anarchy. It means the choice of what will make us happier. And by being happy, we produce something better. Simple as it. So do you have to be a Six Sigma for that, a CSP, uh, ACP, whatever, what have you, like you're making me sick with all of this. Like for instance, I've been practicing Scrum since uh, 2000, 2001, um, developing in Agile in the last two decades now. Become a member of Scrum Alliance to get knowledge and network I don't remember, it was something around just before I quit in San Francisco, the Agile movement, actually, because, yes, I took a break about two years from 2006 and 2008. And when in 2008, the crisis happened, they kicked me back in Canada. When I get back in Canada, I did a lot of things in the UX and CX stuff. So I'll be coming after that just later, maybe, yeah, maybe 2010, I will say. Okay. And I did my first certification because of my thinking of adaptation to the market of Montreal that was praising people not with experience and practical um, experience from the trench. No, no, no. They wanted people with certification. So they start creating a monster back in 2010, 2011, so 10 years ago. So this is why we have the result right now of a big deep fake. Because it's easy, huh? It's easy to put like 5,000 a year get two certification, you have your letters next to your name, you, you flash on LinkedIn, then you arrive into an organization, you don't even know how to balance consulting and coaching, you don't even know the training practical, you're just becoming a barat, a parrot. I've seen it so many times. And I heard it so many times from clients, they were deceived by a previous consultant and then they ask Agile Lounge to clean the place and to bring peace and balance into the galaxy. No, I'm just kidding. But that that's that's amazing. So this is why the podcast will be a place for any one of you out there who would like to talk about a business agility, agility, lean management, scrum management type of thing. But where it's going to be a safe space, a, a daring safe space, inviting to true agility. So you could propose me any subject that touch our world of agility or even lean. I totally don't mind. But just have in mind that you are inviting to speak the truth about it and to speak what is practical, what is empirical, and what is actually responding for uh, a better experience in a smarter way to your clients. So that's that's the intention. 
And uh, so moving onward, that's that. Uh, in terms of mentoring globally, uh, what I did, uh, I conclude the first year of doing the Scrum Beer Montreal with lots of adventure. But we calculated like after seven, we did seven uh, this last year uh, with an average of 40 people uh, per per gathering. So uh, we estimate that about 300 people actually met and exchanged and they built network of knowledge, network of things. We are really, really, really uh, on meetup. Again, on meetup. We don't want to do any structure or anything else. We try a couple of team because it was asked by by some people, uh, those who come back. We could say like uh, the third, 33% of you are coming back. It's always 66% of newbies and I liked it because it's a dynamic. So uh, it's not like a, a community where you expect to have a lot of posted on the wall. No, it's a brewery. Now, I think, again, Michael Darnanas from uh, Fort Origin to, uh, to end us his space and give us the space uh, to do this. So that will continue maybe less than every two months. Uh, we're going to do like one or three if you'd like to get uh, your prime. The prime give you, uh, first you give us a tips to help the marketing fee and the uh, logistic fee that we have. That's only for it. It's only 10 bucks. And actually it's gonna it's coming in our pocket about four or three bucks because you receive your first glass of beer uh, for free when you get it. But the event is free. You don't, uh, I don't wanna hear uh, anybody say, oh, you charge for this. No, no, hold on a second. It's free, but if you'd like to encourage us to pay a couple of fee that we have for every event, but you're welcome to give a tips and we give you the first beer free. So uh, the next one will be Wednesday, January the 29th, still at Four Origin Brewery in Point Saint Charles on St. Patrick, 1304 St. Patrick. So look at the description below, you have the link to, to get her. And uh, we'll, we'll give you both the meetup uh, link and the even bright link if you'd like to become a prime and tips. So. So we'll continue doing this. Uh, January for sure, March, yes, because March, it's a good month. March or April. But then after, we're gonna come back in fall maybe. We'll see, uh, we'll see, because it's it's really demanding. The promotion is demanding. Uh, and uh, at some point, uh, yeah, we'd like to keep it happening. Uh, so every two months was quite rough last year, especially with all the travel that I do uh, and so on. And especially with also what happened in my personal life with the departure of my mom and so on. So this year I'd like, uh, especially when I focus into other of my vision board element, uh, such as an exclusive or a partnership uh, with two enterprises, one in the States, one here in Canada, in Montreal. So it's going to demand me probably uh, more dedication uh, beside helping uh, my couple of clients, uh, mentoring also all of the others. So, so I still want to give back to the community and doing this. And uh, marketing wise, marketing wise, expect like uh, expect that uh, we're gonna learn this year how to help you with the sway system from Marina, Alex, and Moscow. Cheer up for you! I like the fact that those people understand business agility and they bring something like a way, some business canvas to help you guys in marketing. So I'm gonna really focus this year uh, on continuing my exclusive workshop for you talent broker out there and specialists and talent acquisition. So of course, subscribe to those group or ask me any coaching or training. So talent, talent, agile, agile talent will be uh, something that we still continue to perfect. And we're gonna add the sway, uh, sway stuff uh, and the build your own scrum. And as I said, when you do a workshop with agile lounge, you leave the workshop with stuff that it's concrete for the building of your team, of your uh, process backlog, your sales systems, what have you. So here it is. So that's the 2020s coming up. And uh, for those of you who'd like, uh, around 8 p.m. tonight, uh, we're going to be live on the other channel speaking about the magic of 2020, uh, a, a mashup of Fredo and Agile, which is my old self uh, speaking about the calendars, uh, speaking about uh, so many things. So I hope you enjoy this uh, quick onward 2020 on review 2019. I thank you very much for listening. Please give us a thumbs up. 
share that video to uh, enlighten someone who would like to know more about business agility. I'm your guy in Canada to talk about business agility and, of course, what I'd like to co-create, conscious agility. So see you soon. See you, hopefully, if you're around Montreal at the Scrum Beer on January the 29th. Again, it's a Wednesday night. We're going to have our first Agile Book Club. So if you read a book right now in this uh, great holidays, come and share your thought about that book, what you learn, what you'd like to teach maybe to someone else. Because it's with conversation and practice that we learn from each other and for the world. So Agile is signing off. Thank you guys. And again, happy cycle, happy new 2020 and beyond. Mm-hmm.